Hey guys, this is Jamie Lola Tallulah, Poet Spice, and I am here to do the House Mouse collaboration with Gracie21, and this is the Mother's Day for May. And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and um, because I have something else that I'm actually making for my mom for Mother's Day, so um, I didn't want to make something that I wasn't going to use. So I was like, okay, and I got started and I'm like, well, I'll just do larger embellishments. <laughs> so I'll show you the stuff that I have. I had this pad that I got like a long time ago from Renee Green Flamingo. I don't even know if she's still on YouTube, but she was back in the day. Um, so I had this forever now, and this is probably like third, fourth pad of this stuff I've had, um, you know, in over the la over the years cuz I just absolutely love this yellow and gray. And so this is like the last pad I have of it. So I cut into that. And then of course I used some dies from the site that shall not be named. I used this frame here. And I didn't do your traditional happy mother's day kind of thing. I used this die here it's got the hearts again and then I also used this circle stitch die yeah you guys know me if it's a project of mine it's got a die on it <laughs> so I used you know we're using house mouse so here's my house mouse stamp and I'm trying to see what the name of this is wreath of love 2 and so, um, I actually finished my June project first and I just finished videotaping it. <laughs> so I say the same things again for you next month in June, but think of other ways to use your stamp. So initially this looked to me when I bought it, it looked like, you know, a little couple kissing and a little ring. But then if you also take a look at it, it could be like, a sister for a brother, two sisters, it could be like a sympathy or like you're special, anything like that because you have the one little mouse giving the other mouse a little kiss and it's not like they're kissing on the lips, right? It's like on your head. So it looked to me like, oh, well you could use this for Mother's Day, like a mother's love for her child. So I went with that kind of feeling for it. Um, so when you have dies and stamps, just think of multiple ways that that particular stamp or product could be used for a different occasion so that you're not stuck with, oh, I only have such and such and such and such, right? So for example, let me get, let me get, um, well, this is something that we normally would have, right? Okay. So like a typewriter stamp. Typically, you know, uh, it could be like a little note, a hello, or something like that. But it could be a happy secretary's day. It could be, um, uh, you know, if you know a writer who just got their book published. It could be well wishes to somebody who just, you know, is about to graduate. Um, it could be a card for a man cards for somebody who, know, you know, like likes to type or fixes electronics you know like old-timey electronics or something like that um, just all kinds of things that you could do with stamps or dies all right let me get on to my project I made large embellishments so these are like three by threes roughly so I made two circle ones and I did not do any coloring this time instead I just let the paper and dies work so I cut two circles out with the stitch die and I did them back to front and then I cut three layers of actually I only did two on this one two layers of that heart dandelion die I put some spectrum noir sparkle pin I don't know there you go sparkle pin in the center then all I did was stamp it in black ink and cut it out with my um, Fisker's punch and then lined it with a spectrum noir marker. Instead of using in distress ink, I just went around the edge with 
a special mirror marker. So like I said, I didn't do your traditional like Happy Mother's Day, but you could put this on a Mother's Day card, you could put it on a mother's birthday, you could put it on a sister, whatever. So it's kind of dual duty this time. Same thing here, same technique and everything, except I just used a different paper. And then on the back, I put that bright yellow, which is from actually, it's from um, Pack of Tans or Tuesday Morning. And forgive my fingers, because I just finished working, so I got ink everywhere. All right, then this is where I use the square die. Okay. And I did the same thing. I alternated the paper so that I could use those. Right. And this time I did three layers. So I did two layers of the yellow with the creamy color in the middle. And then Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And then this one, I went and pieced back in in the different color of paper, um, the little frames, that it said love and colored that in. Now, because the frame is open, I went and just cut a three by three square and rounded the corners and just taped it on, I mean, glued it on top. And then I did the same thing with this one. I just reversed the colors. So that is my project for Mother's Day. Basically a mother's love for that. So I shall see you guys later. Thanks for watching and go check out the other ladies for the collaboration. Bye.